in the ring like the fellowship fag Still say you spit shit straight Get a grip lad I'm coming through your yard Leave your scars in and out your armor I'm dark and your man can't handle my bars So get a grip lad Profit rep and diggy Cheddar the up and well equipped lad So what you say your middle finger Get a grip lad Got 20 going in up on the beat Everybody get a sick bag So get a grip lad Welcome back to Rapid Wire Reborn Make some noise yeah. This nail is me stuck if he thinks that it's won. You could just tell this kid had a shit school life and forever got picked on. You'd see this retard tripped up, catch a right hook, then spit on. Pokemon cards ripped up, cash took and pissed off. But then he found weed, so he'd sit there, escape with a dreader of bomb. Forget about his troubles in the past, and the knowledge that he's gone. Well, you could just. The knowledge that he's gone. But I can tell you missed the attention and still live in the past of your childhood gone, because your elephant head. Your elephant heavy video intro still has good sound from when you start with PlayStation 1. Says yo. <laughs> My bars are a sick twisted mix of AIDS and tonsillitis. Damage you with savage punchlines infected with hepatitis. Punch nice. knocking you out for the count like meningitis. You need vaccinations from all nations to try and fight this. Toxic monosyllables putting your body in a crisis. Acidic me metaphors forming a more formidable virus. The red blood cells deplete. The count goes into the minus. As the disease starts to feed, they just control the sinus. Tumors are created while my bars are, are related. Eating away at your being 420's demise are created. Like the life support machine blinks as I leave your body desecrated. But I'll give you the chance to walk away now with just your ego deflated. Time. Nice. Time. Nice. 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 First round, 420. Right. In your debut battle, you got smashed by Jesus over here. Yes, yes lad. Started off in round one, something along the lines of you can't believe you're being put against him because he'd be easy to beat. But then still went home with your head down in shame with a zero to three. <laughs> Probably got picked up on the way home to Grimsby and by your mom she said, how did it go, son? And you said, leave me alone, I don't want to speak. <laughs> Why the fuck do all scouses have to fucking cheat? <laughs> From a paddy stomping his feet. <laughs> you know what, since g has got a bit of a name for himself now, at least 1,700 people have watched your debut defeat. <laughs> you know what, let's talk about your music, lad. You could not even pay me to beat. Because you're nowhere near my level. If, if, even if I got down on my knees, you're a baby sapling and compared I'm a tree. But let's not talk about what went on in the past and history. This is the day when SV met 420. Now, no, let's not go on about what went on in history. This is the day when 420 met SV. SV is a name though, that is just cheesier than cheese. I know 420 is weird, but it's got meaning beneath. Nice. It's a cultural time that people spark up the reef. And it means crafty man in Hindu or Chinese. Yeah. And what the fuck does so verbal really mean? Apart from you've got a fucking mouth and you learn how to speak. <laughs> 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 Second round, SV. Yo. You brain vacant, dumb little pagan. I mean, you worship Satan. That's why your last name's Mason. Could you sold your soul to the devil while you're waiting for a payment? Even with an all seeing eye watching over this Anthony Mason. He could have seen to the future, but to me it's so painfully blatant. This trampy dressed, weed obsessed dude back pressed on the pavement, crying outside the zoo after SVs had 420 ball up for three rounds and blazed it. Nice. Probably got 10 kids locked in his basement. <laughs> Stole them all from the nursery on your school work placement. Sold money after keeping them for sexual favours. And funnily enough, today's the anniversary of your twisted engagement. Or <laughs> well, enough of your underage tenants living arrangements. Back to you selling your soul for a lifetime enslavement. Subliminal symbolism, but you're living in derangement. Seeing all you can gain in such ignorant amazement. Prove to everyone that you want to make it. We haven't got the work effort, the time, the effort, or the patience. See, all this weed has left for to any brainless. Looking like some extra from Channel 4 Shameless. Trust me, G, dancing with the devil is more than dangerous. Leave yourself so fucked up to you in your head till you sat there shaking with a soft grip stainless. Time, it's time, it's more! Second round! 420. 
Now I am obviously better at writing tracks than I am at battle. But this is like someone's ma dropping the kid off and saying, Yeah, would you look after it? And maybe spit a few raps with it. Show me what it's like when someone actually spends some fucking time to chat to it. <laughs> don't worry, I brought his lunchbox and his snapback cap with him. And if he talks about his friends, don't worry, because he imagines it. <laughs> yeah. Last fucking month I've worked on four or five studio quality mix master tracks. Well you're still recording yourself on YouTube on your phone out of time to the beat, but I've got the cheek to call that rap. <laughs> when on this fucking Twitter account his name was Sferminem. <laughs> Picture, posing like he's Eminem and that. <laughs> but this guy stands out to me as a liar, someone that never tells the truth. So he needs to stop doing bizarre things like swiftly coming he's an artist without oh. any proof. <laughs> this guy is a knife. Never let him in your truth. <laughs> On your Facebook you called yourself the UK's Wiz Khalifa. <laughs> Not because of how you spin or the way you like to talk the reefer. That's pathetic as fuck and we all know your real nickname is Queen Laguifa. <laughs> now answer me. You seem out of place when you're laying the verse. Your voice goes through but seeing your face is worse. Looking like some baby face, Asian race, teenage, Roman face. <laughs> Anthony Mason. Looks like he survived being drowned as a baby in a basin. Been through more sex of 11 men than Simon Grayson. Oh. Not allowed them animals because he constantly rapes them. Now look, <laughs> you're gay and I can tell that I've already won. Could you actually own a top that says I've got 99 problems but my swag ain't won? <laughs> <laughs> you told your dad you loved him on a more intimate man-to-man -man connection. <laughs> When every time you prayed she was a kid, you stood there with a massive erection. <laughs> Trying to hide it, embarrassed with a bright red complexion, and the only reason you turned to rap is because you got kicked out of one direction. <laughs> now, I heard you and Freeways and Playmates like to meet up and make space cakes and go out on day dates. <laughs> you sit there with Bill, but you ask this to drink while he films it and masturbates. <laughs> <laughs> On this third round, I really considered just sitting on a bar stool for 60 seconds and then saying time. <laughs> but then in the back of my mind, I thought, never underestimate this guy because he might have stepped up this time with his rhymes. So I was writing all serious for like two minutes. <laughs> but, you know what? I might as well just fuck this off and carry on my usual life and continue to get high and not write these battle bars until closer to the deadline. Okay. I actually only ever thought about this battle last two or three days every night before bedtime. I thought, for fuck's sake, I've still got to write these bars for this little dickhead who looks like a hip-hop version of someone out of Westlife. He <laughs> <laughs> lived from Grimsby and lived a dead-end debt life. He registered himself with a profile onto every single music sharing website with his wrapped in wire picture of his profile but never uploaded a single track because he's shy. This guy is not a rapper that can rhyme type. He's the guy in the cap who loves the limelight. <laughs> Time. Time, make some noise. Welcome back to Raptor Wire Reborn. If you enjoyed that bow, make some noise. Yeah. Guys, hello, man. It's good to see SV back. Appreciate you actually coming down all the way from Grimsburg. Obviously, man, fucking 420 is my boy in that. So, the winner is. Two to one, and it goes to 420. Makes the board. Yes, it's day freeways at day freeways on Twitter. Shout out to Bamalam, nice one for the shout out at uh, checkpoint. I'm um, judging 420 versus SV. I'm gonna give it as I think SV came really good with, uh, with the lyrics. I just think that the actual performance lacked a bit of. Uh, Bit of, bit of energy, but it was more energetic than some of the battles we've seen today, but I think it still needs to be improved. Uh, the lyrics were good, but I'm going to give it to uh, 420 on, on lyrics and, and performance. You bill up, judging 420 and SV, I gave it 420, two rounds to one. Fucking smashed it, man, really good performance. Great performance from SV, a lot better than what it was against GWE back in the day, but, you know, 420 was something else, man. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Rolling. 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 Yeah. Uh, so, Cali Delorean, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, at Cali Delorean. Have me on there. Uh, judging, SV and Far Twitter, I think. Which has done probably the best performance I've seen of Far 20 so far. He's really stepped his game up lyrically for that battle. I think both competitors were exactly standing out on the performance side of things. Most of the struggle last, SV came pretty down.